This week's Parsha is Parsha Tazria. When someone writes a book, the author wants to be careful to arrange the storyline in a logical and orderly way. When one, one would certainly expect the Torah to follow similar guidelines. However, the introductory section of this week's Torah portion, Tazria, does not follow this rule. The Torah portion starts with talking about the laws of when a woman gives birth. The Torah then talks about a person who gets a rot, a certain skin disorder. These two laws of woman who has just given birth and someone with seems seem to be totally unconnected. Why then are they placed so close together? In order to answer this question, we must first look at the details of these two laws. In the Gemara, we find that a woman who has just given birth must bring a sin offering. This law raises an obvious question. What sin has this woman done that would cause her to have to bring in sin offering? The rabbis of the Talmud provide an answer to this problem. While she is in pain having a baby, she may have promised never to have children again. So when the woman fully recovered and she actually has another child one day, she is in fact broken her vow. Therefore, the Torah gives this woman a chance to earn complete forgiveness by bringing us an offering. For Sarah, Rashi tells us that the primary cause of Sarah is Lashon Hara, evil speech. In order to show how bad his actions are, the speaker of Lashon Hara is afflicted with Sarah. He is also forced to separate from the general community. The hope is that all this misery will help him recognize his bad conduct and will lead him to repent. The reason that these two concepts are placed next to each other is because the Torah wants to teach us the power of speech. We all know the common phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. But Judaism places much more importance to the words. Every word we say must be carefully measured. Even an oath taken while under the influence of childbirth must be accounted for. Even what seems to be harmless comment about someone must be dealt with. We cannot allow our mouths to run free without any concern for what may result. Just as the Torah was given to us on Mount Sinai, not by a scroll that fell from the sky, but through the holy words of Hashem, so too we must purify our own speech. Remember, words, remember, words, words can, can kill, but words can, can heal. heal. Good Shabbos.